Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is November the 7th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. I hope you all had a great weekend and are ready for a great week ahead of you. Just a reminder, if you would like a printed copy of this word today, please go to my website, scroll down the first page, and click on the right-hand corner of the word posted there to download a printable PDF. To review previous words given, please go to the archives. The word I'd like to share with you today is quite a short one, and I will have to say that as I prepared it, I wondered if I should post it because it did not seem to have a lot of detail in it. However, I believe the Lord would want me to post it as a quick reminder that He is at work, that we will see change because He is coming to bring order to His church. I hope you will be encouraged by this word. It is titled, Christ as Head. I'll begin by reading scripture. Ephesians 4, verse 15. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become, in every respect, the mature body of Him who is the Head, that is Christ. This scripture verse makes it clear that believers in the Lord Jesus Christ are the body of Christ, that we are all parts of the body, and Jesus himself is the head. Isaiah 60 verses 1 through 3 Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. This scripture verse, I'm sure, is a very familiar one, to most of you listening today. But it is a very encouraging word, telling us that the Lord intends to pour His glory out upon His people, and that this glory will be seen by those around us, and be drawn by the light of this glory. I'll begin reading this word. Unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. I am pouring out my spirit upon all flesh, says the Lord. Dreams and visions will be released to all, even those who are far off, for I desire that none should perish. History is being made in this day. Historical changes are about to take place. Great adjustment to things as they have been. It is a day to remember, to take into account all I have done for you. If you think that I have not pursued you, you will find that I have continually been looking out for you and for your best interests. I have opened doors of opportunity you do not see and have thrust you through and into your destiny. Position yourself for honor, not honor that men give, but to be honored by your king, to be esteemed for a job well done. I am coming to give leadership to my body. I will set the house in order, says the Lord. I have a divine order, not like that of the religious harlot. It does not look anything like what you have been accustomed to. It is fluid, never standing still. 
No one can claim it. Those who try will be passed by. I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It shall not be taken into the hands of men. I will not allow it to be contained within borders outlined by men. The church I am building will have Christ as its head, and no other. You will marvel when you see the changes that come. Many are they who have fought against my elect, my chosen. But in this day, the glory of the resurrected Lord shall appear upon those who are mine, and fear shall enter the hearts of those who try to dam up the river of my spirit and box in those who belong to me. You will see great turbulence amongst the people. For no longer will the confines of men be adhered to. I am breaking the power of control off my own, and they shall be let loose to prophesy and proclaim the coming of the king to take his place as head of the body. You will marvel when you see the results of what I do, says the Lord. Never again will those who seek me be turned away, for I have opened the doors to all who would come into my presence. As I have said, this is a very short word with little detail. However, the Lord is pointing out and making a statement regarding his headship of the church. He is exposing the fact that the church has been out of order, that it has been in the hands of men, and he has not been recognized for his rightful place as the head. The Lord is telling us that we will see change because he is coming to give leadership to his body. He is coming to remove the restrictions of men off of his church, breaking its control and releasing his people into the free flow of his spirit. The Lord is also reminding us that the borders outlined by men within the church has caused many seeking the Lord to be turned away, and that this grieves the Lord's heart because his desire is that none should perish. He is telling us he is opening the doors of his church to receive those who would come into his presence. The Lord has a divine order for his church. All parts of the body need to work together in a certain order so that the body may function and that the head of the body oversees all the parts. The Lord is telling us that change is coming as he comes to take his rightful place as the head of his church. I hope this word has encouraged you. The Lord has a good plan for his church and that we will see these changes as he brings it into his divine order. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.